What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Hit Parade Football Limited Edition Series 22 10 box hobby case break round season number one just sold out. And again, it's a repack product from Hit Parade. Remember, one incredible autograph per box. They had a number of these boxes. They do 100, so 10 cases. Uh, and we got a case here. Contains one autograph featuring some of the best stars. Uh, again, including John Elway, Breeze, Odell, all the way down to Murray and Alvin Kamara, and much more, guys. So. Never really a checklist per se, but the sell sheet is right here. So some of the bigger hits you can pull out of here. Very, very nice ones. So let's do the randomizer first, guys. You get one team uh, with one spot. Talon down to Nick and Cardinals down to the Redskins. Let's roll it. Or Washington football team, I meant to say. Six out of two. Six and a two, sorry. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Adam, down to Ryan. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Dallas Cowboys out of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So Adam, you have the Cowboys. Danny with the Titans. Ryan with the Texans. Joel with my Eagles. Rich, you got the Dolphins. Nick with the Panthers. Ryan with the Packers. Nick with the Rams. Aaron with the Patriots. Allen with the Saints. Town with the Lions. Jeremy with the Bengals. Ryan with the Vikings. Aaron went with the uh, Broncos. Aaron Pettit, uh, Aaron Pettit, that is. Rich at the Buffalo Bills. Ryan with the Jets. Benjamin with the 49ers. Jarrell with the Steelers. Jay with the Giants. Vinsanity with the Browns. Danny with the Seahawks. Rob with the Ravens. Benjamin with the Chargers. Jeremy with the Redskins. Benjamin with the Chiefs. Nick, last by Mojo Bucks. Juan with the Bears. Gary with the Colts. Jeremy with the Cardinals. Aaron with the Raiders. Megan with the Falcons. And Ryan with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So if there are any trades, now is the time. Propose a trade. Make a trade. If no activity in the next minute, then I will close it. Very nice, Mag. A PSA 9 is not bad. I take a 9 over PSA 9 over a 9 in BGS. That's for sure. Mag graded the Rui. Yeah, I saw that. Cool. I'm starting to be okay with PSA nines now. At first, like I hated it. But Dude, they're mid. I know that's what I'm saying. So I'm like, but I don't know. I just feel like a nine. You're like, ugh. Yeah. But I guess it's better than looking at a BGS nine. I right, chat you, with. You think a BGS nine is better than? PSA well, you would. 9? Well, wouldn't you think so? Yeah. I think it's like nine BGS, nine PSA, PSA and then yeah. nine five, and then ten, yeah. and then pristine, and then black. I like label. the PSA nine better than the BGS nine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. The silver label grosses me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You're like, ugh. Unless it's like a false card, you know? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. If it's a thicker card, then you can't really PSA complain. PSA 9 is fine for me. For yeah. Card, so. you, can't, you can't complain. People always expect their cards to jam. It's like, dude, it's, it's still mint. <laughs> no, yeah. And like you said, sometimes you don't notice what's under like the microscope, I guess. Yeah. The scratches that you don't even see. As long as it doesn't get like a 7 or 8. Yeah, I seen a... Like, I bought th that Lamar Jackson PSA 8. I know, so I seen a listing, it was like a Luga base or something like that, or Chrome, and the guy goes, how the hell is this a PSA 7? Because he's seen it, and he's like, is there something I'm missing here? Some guy goes, well, there could be like scratches you're not noticing. I saw someone get graded a Luca and it came back a PSA, or a BGS 4 and a half. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like, unless you notice that it's like ripped or like corners are damaged, but... Like a seven. BGS four and a half. I click collecting. <laughs> okay, but like, okay, if you gotta look at PSA seven, what's that gonna go for? I feel like the base might go for better. I don't know it's pop one probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, it's the first seven. <clears throat> All right, flawless spots. No. No. Banger. All right, any trades, guys? Daniel or Seahawks for Browns? Anybody want to trade? Who has the Browns? Uh, Vincent, I don't know if you're listening. Aaron, Raiders, if I die, I die. Raiders, baby. Vegas. When is that new casino supposed to open up? I don't know. 
Dude, that one, yeah, the one we're talking about, right? The, the bedding, like the one with the big TV and yeah. everything? Just looks sick. Although, I don't know if they're going to sell tickets or not for the Browns. Oh, yeah, that's true. <coughs> Alright, guys, so this is limited edition series 22. We got case 3 out of 10. I saw that fo one college football game. That there was a couple of them yesterday, Did you see Frank Gordon here? No, I didn't. Who's he, he playing for? He plays for, uh, he's a freshman. Really? In Northern Arkansas. I think Northern Alabama. Either one of the maybe Alabama. He might play with this. Frank or Jenna. He's like trying dad. to bust LeBron. Alright yeah. guys, well I couldn't print out the list right I'll print it out and I'll get some paper, but there you go. Stayed the same. Juju or Bettis? Yeah, well, the beauty of this is that, look, every team is represented. I don't know how many hits per team would have, but they at least have one. And, yeah, it just kind of, you kind of start thinking about it. You're like, wow, there could be a Bettis. There could be a Roethlisberger. There could be this. There could be that. That's kind of the fun part of this. Obviously, the not-so-fun part is there's only 10 hits, so. Obviously, low percentage of you hitting, but if you do get a hit, hey, it should be a nice one that should easily pay for the spot price. So that's kind of the cool thing about this. Now, when it gets to Sapphire Edition, when it's like only three hits in a whole break, that's obviously super, super high-end stuff. But this is actually a good price point, I think. Especially the price for a random team. So get a hit, should be pretty nice. But obviously not every box is going to be the best. Alright, first box is 9 out of 100. I have another Gary box too. No, I don't have it today, but I'll get it tomorrow. Alright, guys, so I know, dude, I know. It's probably way better to sleep here, huh? Oh, Saquon Barkley. Very nice. That is uh, 66 out of 90. Or no, 96 out of 99. Oh, is that a rookie? Yeah, that'd be considered a rookie, I guess. There you go for the Giants. Who has the Giants? Uh, Jay with the Giants. Very nice. It's a nice way to start it off. I feel like some Quan Barkley stuff hasn't probably been going for as much as it should. Alright, box uh, 36 out of 100 now. Tyreek Hill, Iconic Inc. 26 out of 99. Kansas City Chiefs. That is going to Benjamin. Box 42 out of 100. Otani Waka. Odell Waka for the wild win. This is a thick card, guys. It's Auto Relics 2006 15 Triple Threads. I want to open it up first before I show who this is. Ooh, this is a nice one. Twenty-one out of thirty-six. Ladanian Tomlinson and Melvin Gordon. I only seen Melvin Gordon's name. I guess I just didn't notice the Tomlinson on the top. 
There you go. Dual auto relic booklet. And that'd be a Melvin Gordon rookie. Both going to the Chargers. Very nice. Chargers. That's going to Benjamin. Very, very nice. George Kittle out of 49 from Signature Series. Oh, this must be from Chronicles or something. I was like, damn, that has Signature Series. 49ers, that is going to Benjamin as well. Man, Benjamin is having a good break. Eighteen out of a hundred. Nico Harmon Jr. Rookie Ticket Contenders Optic. 29 out of 199. Another one for the Chiefs. And have yourself a break, Benjamin. Yeah. Chiefs, Chargers, and 49ers. I think the three spots he has in this break, all the teams have hit so far. Man. Halfway through, guys. Five more. Sell sheet hit, I believe. Deshaun Watson. That's a rookie patch autograph from Spectra. 62 out of 99. I believe that is a sell sheet hit. Very, very nice. Yeah, it's right there. Who has the Houston Texans? Stand up. Ryan. C. Colwell. There you go. That is a nice one right there. Didn't he just get paid? Like two days and Dak is just looking at all these players get uh, get paid. Still hasn't got a contract. I know Benjamin. <laughs> I was gonna be like, <laughs> at this point, I don't think so, Benjamin. <laughs> Graded. It's a 9.5, and it's Kenny Galladay from Panini Encased. 37 out of 75. 9.5.10. Detroit Lions. That's Talon. Oh, Lou Brock passed away? Wow. Oh, like today? Oh man, I haven't been on social media today. Like an hour ago. Oh wow, dude, twenty twenty has been nuts, man. I think when Black Panther died, it's that was the most shocking thing. That's crazy. And then it's like he had cancer for four years and no one knew. And a lot of people making fun of him. Yeah, I remember that too because there was like, oh, he looks like you know he's been doing drugs. So I'm like, damn. Now you feel so bad, you know. And it's a printing plate, one of one. Marshall Falk Indianapolis Colts edition. Panini preferred. Uh, are we still opening tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Oh, okay, not tomorrow. tomorrow's I believe. What's that? Tomorrow's Labor Day. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's Labor Day. That's right. Maybe Tuesday, I believe, yeah. It's still TV. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think with us, it's kind of tough because the city of Hermosa is a little tough and. Since we have so many employees, we, I don't even think we have enough people that can actually come in and shop. There's like a limit to how many people can come in here. Gary with the Colts, though. But you're breaking tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm breaking tomorrow. But yeah, we'll be... I don't know if we'll be open for curbside tomorrow, but I mean, we'll be able to break still here tomorrow. But I believe our projected day was Tuesday. That's still to be determined. I think we're going to go to the city and see what we can do about that. You know, we just don't want to get in trouble. Ooh, 
very nice. AJ Green, little Cincinnati Bengals Crown Royale. A little patch on the back. That looks like a little Nike swoosh, actually. Or, no, actually, that looks like part of the shoulder. And that's 39 out of 199. Ooh, this is actually a rookie. Nice. That's a rookie AJ Green for the Bengals. Jeremy with the Bengals. I think he was, he was a rookie in 2011, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was a rookie. Very nice. Bengals. Joe Burrow. Watch Joe Burrow and actually beat the Chargers. You're a legend. All right, last box, guys. And it's a Spectra patch autograph of Portland Sutton. Three color patch. One out of 60. Uh, Denver Broncos. It's going to Aaron Pettit. there you go everybody that was the break so again i know it can be a little rough break but some very nice hits if you did get a hit barkley 101 marshall Falk, kenny galladay the case hit of course deshaun watson miko Harmon, george kittle dual autograph booklet relic of gordon and ladanian tomlinson that was hit parade football edition if you do like this stuff guys we do have basketball edition sapphire is a much more uh, high risk high reward but that's at down to 17 only three hits coming out of that one. We have a baseball one down to nine. That one's similar to this one where there's ten boxes. And then, of course, a lot of other breaks on the website, guys. Appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.